Hello everyone and welcome to today's instalment of Beyond the Mask. In today's episode we're going to be discussing the potential deleted and alternate scenes that may feature in the Halloween Ends home media release. As with most movies, Halloween Ends had several shots when the trailer was released that didn't specifically make it into the movie itself. It's quite common for this to happen, but the Blu-ray release artwork reveals we're going to be getting alternate, extended and deleted scenes once it's released next June. With this in mind, I thought it would be fun to pull out some of the scenes that weren't in the movie, so to paint a clear picture as to what we are likely to get. I'll also be leading into the novelisation to help shape out some of these scenes and where they fit in. Let's jump straight in. The first obvious scene is one I've discussed in a previous video. Corey Cunningham's mother Joan actually had her death scene initially spoiled by promotional images. When the movie was released however, we didn't actually see the character die on screen. The fact that these pictures exist, and that the novelisation absolutely fleshes out this character's death quite extensively, it's highly likely this footage will make its way on the home media release. One of my favourite moments from the movie was when Corey and Michael murdered Dr Mathis and then taunted his assistant, stroke lover, Deb. Whilst the version we got was great, we actually saw a shot of Dr Mathis in the pool, floating as blood turns the blue water red. It's unclear if this scene will actually be how Deb finds his body, or if this scene comes afterwards. Either way, the likelihood of it appearing in the home media release is extremely likely. Alison may have been absent from Laurie's final confrontation with Michael, but the trailer definitely appeared to suggest otherwise. In a shot that was used several times, Alison is seen screaming at Michael's reflection in the mirror. This startling moment appears to happen in Laurie's house. It is however unclear when it happens in the movie. I have a gut feeling it may be one of those made for trailer scenes, but I genuinely hope it isn't. One of my favourite shots from the trailer was when they taglined their saga when referring to Laurie and Michael. The shot following was from Halloween 1978, blended with a shot from Halloween Ends. I was disappointed this shot didn't make it into the movie. Michael collecting his mask behind Laurie was massively symbolic and would have been the icing on the cake for an otherwise perfect final fight between the pair in my opinion. Adding to this, there was also a shot of Laurie hidden behind a doorway, where Michael slowly approaches from behind. The interesting thing about this shot is that Laurie's attire doesn't match the attire she wore in their final fight, making me believe this may be a dream sequence. I do hope we see this in more context when the Blu-ray slash DVD is eventually released next year. There's also some shots of Laurie searching around her home at various points in different trailers. It's making me believe that maybe Laurie does actually search the home extensively before she actually comes across Michael. One of the more well known cut aspects of the movie was an ending in which we saw Laurie Strode battling the evil that had passed on to her from Corey Cunningham. The element remains untouched in the novelisation and was actually filmed. Despite not appearing in the trailers, the promotional shots definitely showed this was filmed. I think this alternate ending is extremely likely to appear. And that's it for this video. Which of these would you like to see the most? Be sure to share your thoughts below. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Until next time, evil doesn't die, it just changes shape.